Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. Um, before we start, I wanted to let you know that I have been making a blueprint book with everything that I've made so far. And uh, I have a link in the description where you can go and get the blueprint strings if you'd like to use those in your own game. Please feel free. And I'll continue to update that as we progress uh, with additional builds that we're going to make throughout the rest of the game. Hopefully you'll find that useful. Um, I just realized I screwed this up a little bit. I shouldn't have put these, or at least I shouldn't have put this storage tank here because this is where I would like to put speed beacons at some point. Although I suppose I could put them on the other side. Um, so maybe it won't be a problem, but I might have to relocate this tank at some point. Um, I've started to make a few engines over here so that I can craft some pumps. So I'm going to go ahead and make about 10 of those that we can use. Uh, let's see. Um, I've added uh, some train stuff here to the make everything area um, so that we can get ready to start building some trains. Um, our iron patch is starting to run low. You know, right now we're getting as much iron as we can get from this patch. It's completely covered and some of the drills are already mined out. Uh, there's another patch over here, which is not very big, um, you know, which is probably close enough that we can use belts. But uh, beyond that, I'm probably going to have to start putting a train network together. Well, it looks like there's some over here as well. Maybe we can belt that in. That wouldn't be too terribly far. We're still fairly safe from biters, although our pollution cloud is creeping closer. And of course, once it gets over there, they're going to start coming in. But um, I don't see any more on the map at this point. So don't need to worry about that yet. But uh, probably after this episode, I'm going to head over there and take that biter nest out just to keep things clear. But for now, I would like to start getting plastic and um and engines set up so that we can get ready to make blue science packs i'm not sure if we'll have enough time to actually get to the science packs today but we'll do our best okay so for plastic um i'm gonna want to have and i'll make plastic here in this area um we'll also make batteries and sulfuric acid over here i think um the plastic, I'm going to put, I think we need at least six to keep our science production going. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and round that up to eight. Just so that we have the ability to make um, a lot of extra red circuits. You can never seem to have enough red circuits. Okay, so we'll... Lay these out like this. Let's put in a couple of lights. Um, I think what I'd like to do is run some power using these large electric poles. I'll just run them along the path here so I can tap into these when needed. some new research going. Um, I've just been doing shotgun upgrades for now. Okay, and then we're going to have one, two, three, four. Okay, these are spaced too far. I'm going to have to move these. One, two, three. There we go. All right, so we're gonna need a full red belt, at least a full red belt um, of plastic. We might even need to upgrade that to blue later on. Uh, but for now, uh, red is gonna be fine. And we need blue inserters on the output because these make two per second. Um, actually, yellow might be fast enough, but uh, just barely. Okay, so let's feed in the 
petroleum. So I'm going to put a pump here. down to the bottom side. All right. <clears throat> and then we just need to get some coal down here. Uh, so coal from the bus. we bring it down from the bus or bring it down from here? I think from the bus there's going to be more room over there. So I'll bring that belt down and uh, bring it over there to where the plastic is. That's four. Actually, let's make this red too. I don't, I'm not sure, but I have my doubts as to whether a yellow belt is going to be enough. Okay, I guess I can leave the light there. split it into two yellows. Oops. All right, and that's one every second. So for the coal, we can use yellow inserters. this plastic and then we can run this over to the bus uh, let's see that'll be the first belt on this one here plastic. Um, while we're here, we can set up batteries as well. Uh, let's see, those need iron and copper. So we'll need to run a shared belt and we'll bring batteries and engines up here. Um, so because of that, I'll bring the, the split belt of iron and copper down this way. And let's see what would be the best way to set this up here. one more. Oh, no, that would be okay. 
Sorry, I was thinking that I need room for a belt, but I actually don't need a belt coming out of here. All right. Choose another research. Um, I've done all the shotgun I can do. Uh, the only thing I have left is rockets, flamethrowers, and combat robots, and follower robot. Um, I'll do rocket shooting speed since we're going to need that for the big rocket at some point anyway. Okay, <clears throat> so for batteries, I'm going to use four chemical plants, and those need sulfuric acid, so let's make sulfuric acid first. Actually, I want the one in the middle to be the acid and these to be the sulfur. Okay, so the sulfur only needs water and petroleum. see here. All right, I'm going to need to give myself a little more room here. There we go. And then the water we can bring in here. And we need water for the acid as well. storage tank and again I'm going to leave a little bit of room for speed beacons later okay and that needs iron plate So what I'm thinking is that if we put the batteries over here, yeah, you know what, let's just, I'll just put four in a row here. Let me do one more. I really only need two of these for the science packs, um, but I want to make sure that I have enough extras to do bots and things like that, solar panels and so forth. Um, we might need to expand this later as well, but we'll see. Okay, so then we can bring that belt like this. Alright, 
Now this one only needs iron. So what we can do is... We can do that. So that the copper gets blocked and only the iron goes through. That way we don't fill the belt with copper. one plate actually it's more than one plate a second but we can pick up two at a time so yellow belt should be fine there okay and then we just need to get the acid up here Pump there. Um, you know, for this short distance, a pump is perhaps not entirely necessary. Um, but we are going to need to run sulfuric acid over to where we make blue circuits uh, at some point. And for that, I want to make sure that we have a lot of pressure in the system. Okay, so these are five seconds. So a yellow inserter is going to be just fine for those. And then we can output over here on the other side. sides of the belt okay um, I can't do any more rocket speed combat robot damage I'm not really planning to use combat robots so I'm just going to uh, let's do a little bit of flamethrower damage because I probably will use the flamethrower a bit um, and then after that I think we'll just Put a halt to the research. Okay, need more belts. I'll get one of those, and I'll grab one of those. on the bus um, and the next thing I want to get put out there are just want to check here these refineries are not all running uh, some of the outputs are blocked that's okay didn't actually put a pipe there. That explains it. I wonder if any of these other ones are ghosts. No, that's a real pipe. Okay. I think that's the only one that had that problem. doing any cracking yeah a little bit okay yeah we were fine it was just that one that had an issue all right um, so let's do some engines um, for engines I want to do 20 machines uh, because we're gonna need some for blue science packs 
Uh, for blue science, we need one per second. So that's 10 machines because they take 10 seconds each. And then also for, I think it's production science packs. Let's see. Yeah, those need electric engines, uh, one every uh, one every two seconds. So that means we need 15 machines making engines just for the science packs. And then I'm gonna want to have extra engines for trains and robots as well. So, so we'll just make a bunch of them. We'll do 10 per side. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And my roboports are getting in the way again. Now, let me just make sure that that's. Well, that's not good. All my blueprint books are gone. Okay. Well, hopefully that spacing is right. We can always fix it later. Okay. So we'll put in some power and then we'll do another row just like that one. No, nope. one, two, three. There we go. Okay, we'll throw in some lights. And the recipe. And then we'll have our belt going down the middle. Okay, <clears throat> so for these we need one steel plate, one gear, and two pipes. And we're going to need, since we have 20 machines, we're going to need twice that every second. So uh, two gears a second, we should be able to satisfy with one machine making gears. Um, Four pipes per second, we're gonna need two machines making pipes. And we can put those on a shared belt, uh, which we will split. Like that. And then we'll need another belt with steel, which we can run this way. Let's set up the gears and the pipes to begin with. All right, so one machine making gears, and then like I said, two machines making pipes. Um, Let's see if I do that. Yeah. Then we can do that to get um, both sides of the belt. Uh, let's see, straight pipes. There we go. Now to make that many, uh, we need four per second eight per second, so one yellow belt of iron will be enough for that. All right, <clears throat> and we 
we've got an unfortunate placement here. So what I'm going to do is, whoops, there we go. Okay, so that'll be iron. Uh, let's get some power brought over here. Okay, let's just make sure that this is working okay. Yep, okay. So we got pipes on one side, gears on the other side. No problem there. Okay, so we're done with research now until I can get blue science. All right, and then uh, the next thing that we need is the steel. So let's bring some steel down here. here for the plastic. Whoops, that should be red belts. My bad. Plastic needs red belts because we're going to be going through plastic very quickly once we start getting red circuits going. Okay, and then the engines are going to come up here. And they will join the bus with the batteries and the plastic. All right, so now we just need to get the inputs and outputs and we'll be all set. Actually, you know what? I think these can all be yellow. Let's do that. We'll use, uh, we'll use wasting the good stuff on something that doesn't need to be that fast. can go here. Okay, there we go. And now we're making lots of engines. So let's go ahead and mark that on our map. Engine units. Okay, good. And then down here, we've got plastic and batteries. Uh, where are batteries? There we go and sulfuric acid. Okay, so uh, sorry we didn't get to blue science today, but I think it was still very productive. We got plastic acid batteries and engines done. Uh, it's not every episode that we get four different commodities in production. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. <laughs> Uh, thank you all. A lot of you have uh, subscribed recently. I really appreciate that. It's been a good boost um, for the channel. I'm happy to have you guys along and we'll see you next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.